Real people, real celebrities, real talk. Join the Breakfast Club. Weekday morning, 6 to 10. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building this morning. That's right, Boosie Badass. Mr. Yeah, Lil yeah, I'm Boosie. in the building. I'm in the building. Good morning, first, sir. Yeah, and welcome home, first of all, man. Appreciate it, man. I'm Absolutely. Here, yeah. Yeah, the one question I've been dying to ask the whole time you was gone, man. Who kept the Boosie fade tight while you was locked up, man? Uh, any inmate who I thought could cook. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't had no, I ain't really had no, you know, specifics. You know, anybody who I heard could cut, I, I get them to try to cut it. What is the Boosie fade? Explain to the people what the Boosie fade is. I don't fade. know. It's just, it's just, I don't know. It's a ramp. It's a flat top. It's all the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. It's just a little hair cut I always had and. You know, I start rapping about it and we're from now. You, know? you need the trademark, man. Now, every, whenever you see somebody with a fade, they be like, oh, he got the boozy fade. <laughs> I need to, but so many people are doing it wrong, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and people <laughs> saying, look, I got your hair cut. No. <laughs> <laughs> when you home, do you got a personal barber? When you on the Yeah, street? I got a personal barber. Okay. Deldrick, you know, he's he been cutting me for a long time and he cut all my hair, my son's hair. Word. That's what's up. All right. So last time I spoke to you, we talked about all the collaborations that you were doing, and you said the one person you wanted to reach though was Justin Bieber. Has that happened yet? Man, stay nah, with me. If you go violate nah. probation, messing with him, then. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't, I ain't got in touch with him yet. Uh, Craig, them from Atlantic, supposed to be making some phone calls, but uh, we ain't made it happen yet. I'm so focusing yeah. on me right now, anyway. Mm -hmm. So you got an album date, the 14th of July. Yeah. Al July 15th. July 15th. The album is completely done. Uh, I just I might got like two or three more records to complete. Okay, so who who you I know I know so far they say two chains, GZ, TIs on the album. Anybody else you looking to get to, to close out the album? Uh, Meek Meek Mill finna get on the album. Meek, uh, mm -hmm. that's basically it. Uh, Trey Songz probably finna get on the record. I uh, mm -hmm. got a record from K Michelle last night also, and that that'll probably be a rap on it. Okay, you know it's crazy. Man, I was talking to my homeboy Lil Duval, man. I was like, man, Boosie look like he don't got no jail rust on him. You know how people come home and they be a little awkward. It seemed like you was here. Yeah, because I, I was preparing for this day, you know. Like, okay. All I did is write music. Uh, I would be outside by the way pie and I would uh, sit on crates. Okay. I, would, I, would, I would line up crates and I would walk on the crates like I'm on stage. So, you know, I, I was just practicing and getting ready for, for my freedom, you know. So your mind was still out there. Did, did you keep the faith the whole time that you was locked down? Or did you feel like... I say about uh 65%. Mm. Faith, you know, by 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 all these charges on me and uh and so much media bad publicity, I was I, you got no choice but to think, you know, what if the jurors run with what they hearing, uh, the well, image mm -hmm. they paint. So. You ever feel like they was trying to bury you? Like they was trying? Oh, they, to... No, they was trying to bury. Yeah, they was definitely yeah. trying. Oh yeah, they was definitely trying to bury. Or... Me. They was trying to bury me and uh, throw away the key. You know. So you have to live in Louisiana right now. You can't leave the state. I mean, you can't mi move somewhere else. Yeah, I, I feel I'm, I'm feeling in my thing to move right now. Mm -hmm. It's just I'm waiting on a, the city to accept me. Okay. And once the city accept me, I can go. You know. Okay. How's the game changed since you've been gone, man? Um, it's trendy. You know, like if one person make a song that sound like this. Ten other artists gonna try to make a song sound like that. Mm. So it's trendy, like it's a lot. Of, what I hear, it's a lot of the same music. Not the same music, but the same tone, the same flow. And I just feel like, you know, the music I rap about put me in my own lane. So I'm, I'm happy it's trendy, you know. But you got a lot of, I think I would say a lot more respect when you came home because a lot of people who might not have known who Lil Boosie was. When your homecoming, when you came home, it was so big that it, it opened the doors for so many different people. You know what I mean? And so many different people accepted. Like when we played your record up here, you know, and us, you know, being based out of New York, it was harder for Boosie and, and, and Webby to get accepted in New York. But now it's like it, it's it's easy. People accept it. They want more music. And I heard you did the remix. The show yeah, I the did. World. I did the remix. And I heard uh... you did the remix with no remix. It's all you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You put three verses on there now. Yeah. Why'd yeah. you do that and not get any other artists? Uh. I just feel like it's my time to show the world, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, that show the world record was something I just had in the pocket from a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So uh, I said on a remix, I just wanted to go in on it. Uh, mm -hmm. And I had way more to say than what I said then, of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah? So uh, I just ball hogged the record. You know? 
Mm-hmm. You know, even when you speak about being trendy, do you feel like you 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 was the trendy thing at the moment? Because a lot of people that may not have been riding with you before you went in, when you came home and they saw it trending on Twitter and they saw all these different outlets that wanted to come talk to you, then they all of a sudden jumped on you. Do you how do you right, feel I about feel, the fake I, love? I, I feel like half of the love was real, fifty percent. Mm-hmm. I feel like twenty five percent was just bandwagons, just jumping on the bandwagon, yeah. what people do, and I feel the other twenty five percent came from. People, some people might not even never heard my music, right. but my social media name and all of my my, my trials and tribulations, mm-hmm. I think they was like, let me see what he talking about. Right. Why why is they messing with him? Let me listen to his music, and if you listen to my music, you'll be a fan. But oh, I, yeah, I, I, I argue, I, I've been arguing with my program director since you came on because I'm from South Carolina, so I came oh, up yeah, on. You, oh yeah, you know, I came up on Boosie. Oh and, man, and you know, the trail family, music so. director, so, man. huh? Music director. Music director. I'm sorry. Yeah, I've been arguing <laughs> with my music director because he was like, man, Boosie sucks. I'm like, yeah. how does he suck? I bet you ain't never heard one Boosie record. He was like, I haven't. <laughs> so how can you make that assumption that he sucks right. just because you're from the South? Right, right. But right. you know what? I, th- I think the, the the best thing you did was when Charlamagne said, you know, people usually come out, they have rust on them. The first right. thing you did was when, when you spit a freestyle. It was a little snippet. Come I think it was like jail. a 30, yeah. 45 mm-hmm. second freestyle. And it showed that it sounds like you snapping harder than when you was locked up. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Which, yeah. which, which I think opened. You know, I, I just like the fact that you came out and it's like it's so many different people that like you know you, you're gonna be in the club with me tonight and I, I've never seen so many people excited to see you. You know what I mean? And that's right. a great thing because you've been in New York you know various times before, but now right. it's like they're excited to see you because they want to hear you, they want to see you, they want to try to touch you, and that's a great experience. How was that's your a great first show? You. Out of you know the first show that you had to do, I know at first. The oh, first it was one crazy, was man. How did it feel doing your first I didn't show? I done sold out the last five arenas I done been in, 12,000 plus. You know? mm-hmm. That's crazy. I done sold out every seat, so, you know, that's a blessing. You know? But the first time performing, did you feel like, okay? Nah, I ain't had no butterflies or nothing. Like, I was on my tiptoes the whole time mm-hmm. ready to ready to hit the ring, you know? So uh, <laughs> I ain't had no butterflies. I, it was just it was just what I've been waiting on. You know? What yeah. felt better, that first show or that first piece of You can't say <laughs> man. Oh, you know, vagina. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I, I think the first show because I was getting put, I was getting <laughs> in jail. You know? What? That, that what? Was he just what? told him he can't say it. Now you gonna say it? My bad. <laughs> what they had you in the future? Oh, how do you get? Oh, oh yeah, because uh, yeah, you married? Nah, I, I just I just you know I was visiting. I had my own visiting room. All oh okay. <laughs> I know you. So could I do was that. doing me. <laughs> now the all of the fake quote unquote fake boosy shows does that mess up your bread? Because even though I know when we, when we were trying to book it, I'm like, nah, we got to call everybody we possibly know that know Boosie to make sure you really coming. It, 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 it prolonged, it prolonged, it prolonged some stuff. You know, people be like, is this really, you know, a lot of people was faking like they was my brother. Mm-hmm. You know, when you come out with that buzz, people trying to eat. Mm-hmm. And they'll go to the, to the limits to eat. But if somebody's sending you some fake information and you sending them money with no, no contract or something, you right. crazy. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but it ain't slow the bread. The, the phone don't never stop ringing right now. You like a stimulus package in the hood right now. They, they, <laughs> they know if I book Boosie, my show gonna sell out. Right, 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 right. <laughs> now, what about this new album that's coming out July 15th? I know you said you did over a thousand songs while you were in jail. How many of those made it onto this album, or is it all fresh new stuff? Yeah, this is all fresh stuff. This is all stuff since I've been home. Mm-hmm. Classic album, of course. Uh, and it's fire, you know. All I can say is be waiting on it and, and go copy. it. How, how yeah. important was rap to you when you was locked up, man? Did, did you actually care about writing or did you care more about beating your kids? Because to write a thousand songs when you got that over you is, is, is kind of crazy. Oh, uh, that's how I would vent. Like, mm. when they when, when I would get angry, you know, I just write music. Mm-hmm. When I was happy or when, when something would go right, I would just write music and that's how I would vent, period. That's how I let off. Everything that was inside me, I would mm-hmm. just write music and write music all day. So you had beats in your head, or what? People... Yeah, like after I, after I write a song, I can go back and put a beat on it in my head. Right. So when I come home, all I gotta do is get with the producer and make the sounds, and we tap it up and make a record. Now, there's also a rumor that your children's mothers, all four of them, are gonna come together and do a reality show. Did they yeah. end up getting along after you got locked up? Because they all had to kind of come together, or did they always get along? Nah, they ain't always good. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't know. You know, I just, I had found out when I was in the can that they was trying to do a reality show, you know. At first I was against it because I ain't want it to bring friction if they get into it with, 
each other and have a riff with my with my kids or whatever. But uh, I ain't gonna stop nobody from getting money. You know, you you trying to get your hustle on, you trying to get some money. I'm I'm all for. Let me get your child support payments left. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so they get along actually because you got locked up. They kind of had to be like, okay, you know, we all. got I think that brought you. everybody closer. Mm-hmm. I think by me going through all the stuff that I went through, you know, I look back at my murder trial and all on was sitting on the same row together uh, next to each other. So mm-hmm. I was like, you know, <laughs> that's what's crazy. up, you know, but. I, I, I'm going to support them. You know, I ain't getting on the show now. <laughs> but, you not going to uh, get on it? Nah, I ain't getting on nah, the show. Would you do any reality TV? I've been try, nah, I I trying, trying to get Webby on the show nah, for the long. Nah, I ain't trying to do no reality <laughs> TV. Now, also, you, you know, you've always been known for your jewelry, your cars. Now, what are some of the things that you bought since you've been home? I see the Cubans, the, 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 the huge Cubans. I ain't made no uh, big, 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 big splurges yet. They said they bought a house. Birdman house. I mean, I bought that. I've been bought that. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, mm-hmm. So I, got a house, I got a house in D Town too. So mm-hmm. what are you what are you eyeing on? Uh, nothing really right now. No. I'm just trying to buy homes and property and land and mm-hmm. stuff. I'm through with all the cars and stuff like that. You said D Town, Detroit? Nah, nah, what? nah, Dallas. Oh, so you have the same circle around you now that you had before you got locked up? Oh hell no. I mean no no. Nah. I ain't got that same. My circle small. No. Mm-hmm. That's what I wanted to know. You was real heavy in the streets when you went in. Like, do you feel the need to still keep it real and play the hood like you used to? Nah, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't play the hood no more. You know, I got, I got, I got a lot of people envy me as far as, as far as the system. You mm-hmm. know, so I ain't got time to be in no hoods or nothing like that. I'm. I'm laid up in the crib with my kids. You know, I ain't got time to be in no hood. You know, the hood gonna respect me. Either or, they know I'm a G regardless, so I ain't got time for all that hanging in no hood. No, I'm t- You're not trying to get yourself in no more situations. Nah, nah, <laughs> I ain't getting in no more trouble. And what, what made you um, trim your circle down? Like, was it people that weren't there for you when you was locked up? Or? Right, they they people trim themselves down. Mm. Like, when you get in a situation like I was in, you're going to see who real and you're going to see who fake. They thought you were gone. Yeah, when you when you when you count somebody out, you know, when you ain't with somebody with some, when they down, you can't be with them when they up. Absolutely. Period. So, you know, that trimmed a lot of people, a lot of people off, off, off my chipping block. And, you know, that was a blessing for me because, you know, that's, that's less less problems I got to deal with and more money for me. You know? mm-hmm. well, what other lifestyle changes have you had to make? Maybe FaceTiming now. Uh, I'll be, you know, I'll be face. I like FaceTime. <laughs> I, like, I, like, I, like, I like to look at, I, I like to look right at a woman and, and talk to her. Yeah. You know, that, that blew my mind when I first saw that. I'm like. Damn, I can look at you. <laughs> you know, I felt like I had been gone 20 years. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm drug free. I'm drug free. I can talk big business now. You know, I ain't mm-hmm. I ain't all loaded off that good no more, you know. So, when you drug free, that that bring a lot of changes to Does you. Does it affect you artistically? Because you, were you one of them people that feel like, oh, I got to smoke something before I go in the booth? Or? Nah, nah. It just come to me naturally, you know, mm-hmm. music. Okay. Well, be careful with that FaceTime because it will get you caught. As yeah, well. I know they say they can flash screen pictures and all. No, I mean just as far as a girl be like, well, show around the room. Let me see if nobody's there, If you you know, where you say you at and all of that. Because now they want to see what you're doing. Well, I'm just saying. You just hit him with something. He just thought about that. He's like, wait a minute, she right. <laughs> <laughs> she have you putting the phone under the bed in the shower. Now, how are you with, with the social media stuff? Are you on Instagram and you t- you're tweeting and all that? Have you tried uh, to shoot not really the tweeting, yet? but I'm I'm Instagramming pictures and <laughs> and stuff like that. You know, I like Instagram. Mm-hmm. I ain't I ain't know they had that many bad women in the world. Lord, Lord. <laughs> Hold on now, it's this, oh, thing, called too. Too it's now. this thing called catfishing too. It's this thing called Photoshop. Man, Man catfishing. Cat- I'm, just, I'm just be looking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just be looking. Ain't nothing wrong with looking, but I be like, you know. Have the Have the thumb thugs <laughs> pissed you off yet? The people that talk reckless to you online. That... Nah, they ain't they ain't pissed me off. Yet. I didn't read some comments, but. <laughs> Can't nothing really make me mad. I'm free, know, man. Like, I'm talking, <laughs> like, you can say anything. It can't nothing really make me mad after I come from what I come from. It, right. I'm straight. All right, so you have the deal at Atlantic. You have the album coming out July 15th. You have the tour. What other things does Boosie have going on that we should Oh, I got my clothing line, Jewel House. Mm-hmm. I got it on right now. Uh, it's my own clothing line. Okay. Uh, I got my movie script wrote. Oh, that's right. You wrote that while you was locked yeah, up. Yeah, I wrote that when I was locked up. Life Story? 
Yeah, the autobiography. Okay. So I'm going to try to get that in theater. Is it hard to write an autobiography? Because sometimes you can't be honest with yourself about things that happen. Especially if you're on probation and the statute of limitations ain't up on somebody. <laughs> 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 nah, it wasn't hard for me because... Especially men. Y'all tell the story how you want us to hear it, you know. Right, right. It wasn't hard for me because I do that anyway in my music. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't hard for me. It was just sitting down, sitting down in the cell and just thinking about everything and putting it on paper. What's the worst thing that happened when you was locked up? Because, like, you know, little Fat, he passed. Pimp C, he was very influential in your career. He passed. Uh, my, my best friend, Bleak, got killed when, okay. I, when I was down. He got killed April 2010. That was, that was the hardest thing for me. That was my main man. He got killed. And, and then I come back and get indicted two weeks later. So. And did I, uh, Talking about prison, did you get into any altercations in prison? I remember talking to Oh, yeah, I had a couple fights. Really? Uh, yeah, I... Yeah, Somebody I was, mess up the fade, man? <laughs> nah, <laughs> bro. It's just, you know, you just got to stand up. You know, if, if dudes think, you know, some dudes, no matter how much respect you got, they want a reputation. Mm -hmm. And some dudes just got to sit on their ass sometimes. And that's just how it is in there, you know? I, All kind of stuff, man. I, yeah, I got into it. Yeah, I had all the cases. Now, now you've been referenced as the, as the Tupac of the South. How do you personally feel about that? Uh, I just, I feel Tupac, Tupac, and Boosie, Boosie, but you know I I think I think people do that because we both like have heartfelt music that can touch people's hearts. We both have similarities, mm -hmm. you know. I guess we both got in trouble too, but mm -hmm. <laughs> I just feel like you know it's 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 because the real music we make. It's a pleasure to be, you know, giving that giving that credit, but you know Tupac, Tupac, Boosie. Boosie. And before y'all comment on World Star and stuff, <laughs> how dare he, he say that? Listen to the music first. That's all I tell people. Go back and listen to old Boosie badass music right. before you before you make any assumptions. Right. Do you want right. to have more kids? Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. I ain't, only thing I ain't got is twins. Oh, okay. And so I heard you could put you could put twins in a woman. How yeah, can yeah, you, put, you can. Yeah. Yeah. What? They say yeah. They got that stuff. You in can vitro. put them. You can. You oh, can. You can yeah. I thought you made your special sperm or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want no. I don't, I don't want. I'm, so I'm, I'm strapping twins. up tight because you know this stuff I got. It drop <laughs> on your arm. You pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> now, is it hard for you to adjust money wise? Like when you went in, prices for things were different, like shows and appearances. You know, have you picked up right where you left off? Are you charging more? Are you charging oh, less? Oh man, I'm, I'm charging, charging um, more. I might be charging Boosie four. Getting it. <laughs> four times, <laughs> <boy>. <laughs> Boosie getting it. Boosie getting it. I might be charging four times more than what I. Uh, they said you booked charged. out past the summer. They said you you don't have any open dates. Nah, all my Fridays and Saturdays, everything gone. And you ain't even doing no clubs, right? You doing like this arena, arena there. Arena. Yeah. In a strange kind of way, do you think you wouldn't be in this position now if you didn't go through what you went through? Um, probably not. Probably so. You know, I guess only God know that. You know, but mm -hmm. you know everything happened for a reason. You know when you. When you drag somebody through the mud, God be watching, you know. And you know, he I guess he just blessed me, you know. I just feel like it's my time and I'm just trying to make the the best of best of what's being promised to me and, and given to me and sent my way and uh it's kinda sweet right now. Yeah. <laughs> what's your relationship with Webby? Webby came away I mean Webby is probably one of our best interviews ever. <laughs> he just free and open and just what's your relationship with him? Uh, Webby, my dog. You know, Webby came to the label probably two, three years after me, and uh, man, Webby and been through a lot together. So uh, <laughs> that's my boy. You know, I'm, I'm out now. You know, I just when I when I finish my album, I'm, I'm gonna get to him, and you know, I just gotta calm him down, and you yeah, know, yeah. I just yeah, gotta calm him down and, and get him business minded and let him know. You know, it's real now, and uh, get them back to making that music that, w that we've been making for years. He actually hadn't seen you until the night before you had your press conference at dinner, and I would have thought that would have been one of the first people you would have seen when you got out. Right, right, right. You know, so. That yeah. was my my kids first. Mm -hmm. My kids for anything. Right. You know, I went and saw my kids, got in the tub. You know, got me a little, 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 little <laughs> tutu. <laughs> and, uh, 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 so are these women, do they fight over you? What like, like your children's mothers like? Do, oh they, no, are no, you don't mess with none of them. Nah, anymore? I don't mess with none of them sexually. Okay, you know we just got a bond. I take care of my kids. Mm -hmm. You know, we straight. It ain't it ain't no it ain't no physical relationship. Are they accepting if like you have another woman? Are they cool with that or is it yeah still? they yeah they they straight. We like we like friends. You know they gotta accept it. Damn. <laughs> I accept they. You know. <laughs> <laughs> But it's, you know, women could still be beefing with you. They might right, still right. want to be with you, you know. Right, right, While right. you was locked up, you might have been sweet-talking them because you was in there, like, you know. Nah, I wasn't sweet-talking them. You know, I was 
I'm probably sweet talking something else, but I wasn't sweet talking though. You had to have that one special girl though. When you come home, like, all right, now you the one first. that's gonna, <laughs> gonna get this first. Right, right, <laughs> right. right. It, that was that what it was. We just, we just, we just having problems right now. But yeah. <laughs> I bet. Was it a quick one or did you last? Oh, oh yeah, I lasted. I, 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 I told, I told my boy, I told my boy, I was gonna last. You know, <laughs> I told my boy I was gonna last. Man, I was, man, I was so freaky. I was freaky as a dish. Rag. <laughs> <laughs> freaky as a what? A, a dish rag. <laughs> 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 that was a dish rag freaky. <laughs> I was so freaky. Lord, Lord, Lord. What was you doing? <laughs> man, was I was licking, sticking. Uh, man, I, I was having fun. Man, that's regular, man. I ain't lying, bro. Well, Charlamagne eats butt on the regular. I'm from the South. I'm from South Carolina. That's what I do. I put my tongue in a girl's ass. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Boosie, you done ate some ass. That's why they call you I'm bad thinking, ass. I'm thinking about it, though. <laughs> <laughs> now, how has Down South Hip Hop changed since you went away, man? Uh... I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. Cause I don't, I don't really. I don't listen to nobody else's music. Mm. Like I don't listen to nobody music. When you, I feel like when you listen to other people's music, you start going that way. You're going to the studio and and you are lean toward making that record or making that sound they sound. Mm. So I listen to nobody else's music. Mm -hmm. Not because I'm not a fan of their music. Not because you know I just try to stay focused on on my lane, on my sound. So uh, even in jail, I didn't listen to anybody's music. I listen to oldies or something like mm -hmm. that, you know, mm -hmm. and um, get ideas from old, old, old songs or something like that. But you know, I just, I just try to stay in my own lane. So you know. Now, before would, you did your, your deal with Atlantic, so many different artists wanted to sign you: Jeezy, uh, Rick Ross. They said Rock Nation. What made you do the deal with Atlantic and not sign to somebody else? Maybe. Uh. They were I all just, chasing. They were all right, 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 out. right. But I just feel like you know, with Atlantic, you know, they 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 ready to put the house behind me. Mm -hmm. You know, I ain't gonna sign with Rick Ross, G's, and nothing like that because they're my homies, man. You know, and my my own boss also. Mm -hmm. So I'm uh, I'm finna go get me a big label deal also, and uh, I just want I just wanted to make the best decision. I wanted to go with somebody that was gonna put the whole machine behind me. Everybody say I was going this place, this place, young money, you know. I ain't trying to go nowhere that got a whole full, full roster. Full roster, you know. I ain't trying to get it nobody way. Cause I, I, when, I, when I drop, I wanted to be, you know, the machine put behind me. What was the most surprising offer that you got when you were in jail? The most surprising call, like, it was like, whoa. Uh, 200,000 an episode for reality show. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you should have uh, took that break. <laughs> <laughs> you probably could have gotten more if that's the first offer. What, what yeah. network was that? Uh, I don't know. I was getting all kind of letters and emails <laughs> through the computer. I was like, man, it's serious now, you know. Who was it, Mona Scott? <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like a Mona no, Scott No, that situation. definitely doesn't sound like a Mona Scott She'd have, gave, she'd have broke Boosie off that bread, no, 200000 She cheap with everybody else. She'd have <laughs> thrown that 200000 for Boosie now. <laughs> Now, what kind, what kind of game did Pimp C used to give you? Uh, Pimp C, uh, Pimp C would always, he was just somebody I could always call and talk to about something. You know, he, even if it's music business, women, mm -hmm. uh, baby mama, mm -hmm. anything, he'll, he'll give it straight to me. And, you know, he was, Pimp C was just, he was outspoken. He was a cold critic. You know, I used to always try to impress him, you know. Mm -hmm. Like one time I brought a yellow bone to the studio. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought she was bad, right? So mm -hmm. uh, I bring her in. I'm trying to show off. So I'm like, um, when she leave, I'm like, she was nice, huh, Pimp? She like, uh, yeah, she was straight. But her feet need some artwork. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, man. Man, oh, man, bro. I ain't paying the test. I'm like, oh, man. You feel like you ever got his approval? Uh, with the music, I feel. Okay. I feel like, you know, when I got to selling hundreds, th hundreds of thousands of records, he was like, yeah. man, you, you doing your thing. Like, you know, he was like, you, you're in the place you need to be. How, yeah, does, how does the passing affect you? Like, what, what kind of effect did it have? I just ain't really got nobody, you know, I got other people that try to fill in that spot, but I just ain't really got nobody to, to give, to talk to like that when I when I want to talk about some real stuff. You know, I got, I got big homies, but... You know, if I, I know if it come from pimp, it, it's real. You know, not even bun. Bun yeah, beach? bun. I, I I can holler at bun. I can holler at bun sometimes, but uh, pimp was just you know, pimp was my boy. Word. 
Well, you know, my, any, but I like my uncle, though. You know? Is there any Pimp C vocals that might make this album? Because I heard there's a lot of them out there. Nah, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell the fans that. <laughs> but, uh, they got some boosted vocals gonna make that. <laughs> <laughs> now, what happened to those thousand plus songs that you did? What, what's oh, gonna I still got them. What I are you gonna do with them? I'm gonna drop them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna drop them. I'm gonna drop them. I got. You said no mixtape. You just want to straight come out with the album. Yeah, I'm gonna come out with the album. Uh, for Christmas, I'm gonna drop another album. Mm-hmm. So probably do some mixtapes in between that. Okay. But right now, I'm just focusing on big album records and big albums. You know, get that check. You know. Mm-hmm. Is there a particular reason you want to move out of Louisiana? Probably you just been locked up there too long. You just want to get out for a minute. Or the what? cops don't be. Yeah, I think you know. I think it's based on the, you know the, the, the system. Mm. You know, it's not based on people there. It's not based because you know I'm 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 the man in Louisiana. You know? mm-hmm. I'm protected. You know, I'm straight. But it's it's the consequences of of the of the of the system. Mm. And I don't want. Uh, have to fight that system no more. You know? So I go well. Everybody riding Bentleys and you know everybody living like this. You know I won't be. A, I won't stand out when I go somewhere. You know. Absolutely. We appreciate you joining us this morning. July fifteenth. July fifteenth. July fifteenth. Big album comes out. And yeah. when, you, when you gonna start on that movie? Uh, I gotta get with uh the top uh top people and see who gonna. Uh, you gonna play yourself or you gonna get? I'm gonna play myself halfway through the movie. Okay. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna play myself, but it's gonna be crazy. Like when people, I think when people see the movie, those who was feeling like you say the dude was feeling like Boosie, this and that, I think they'll be like, man, this dude deserve everything he getting right now. Yeah, they don't know your story. Right. That's right, all right, it is. Right. I always wanted to know and wipe me down when you say you left New York City and hooked up with P Diddy. You really? Right. You, that was real. Nah, I just seen P Diddy a couple. Okay. <laughs> but I hooked up with him at uh, I hooked up with him and party with him at the compound in uh, in Atlanta. So when I heard that, I was like, "Damn, they messing with? Did he messing with Boosie now?" <laughs> you know, he got to stand next to what's hot. <laughs> yeah, very true. <laughs> All right. Well, it's the Breakfast Club. It's Lil Boosie. Yeah.